all right let's come back and talk about the um mobad story uh mobad is a young man who passed away back in september 2023 after a long stretch of being bullied by this is, it was an upcoming afrobeat uh superstar artist and and since then his music has been going viral everywhere but this is the mother has been a lot of drama within the family and things like that sadly um when you're born into a family like this uh yeah yeah if something happens you know it just gets very very messy and that's an example so the mother has been in support of his uh widow uh the the wife of mobad wumi uh with their young son who was five months old when he passed away and uh, they recently celebrated the one year old birthday but now uh, as of yesterday or last 48 hours or so i don't know when you're watching this i'm just you know the the point of this session is to extract the lessons so uh the news might be still but the lessons are evergreen okay so i want to play this video in tears mobad's mom calls out joseph aloba who is mobad's father and governor sonwolu i'm gonna play that real quick and then we'll come right back she's speaking yoruba so i will do trans translation in a second Mama Renier Bami and the woman and your Nigeria King Moshe. Don't call Paumon, but don't part on all. See, Kitty Moshe, but no, Josio, Josio, but no, Josati, who can just say. Kitty Moshe for Bayapia Moru, but don't Paumon, not for Payan, not for Pami. You go for what a shame you, what a shame you were shia, woman. For what a shia drug was shia. So I'm gonna mute that for a second. So as you can see here, Yaba Ojo was the actress that actually helped in making the noise around the starting of the Justice for Mumbad movement, uh, which was a justice movement designed to seek justice for to find out to do some investigation behind his passing. That there was some kind of mystery behind his passing. It was in a fight. They weren't sure if it was because of the fight. It was some. Uh, some other issues that were going on within between him and his friend who he was in a fight with then also the wife and then since then there's a lot of dragging of the widow uh with me to do a dna test because some people uh led by the noise that was made by a very dark man uh, uh insisted that she does um they insist that she does a DNA test just to make sure there's no ulterior motive from her, from her on our part. But anyway, all that is I'm just reporting how we got here. But now the mother is crying out, uh, saying that some bloggers, namely uh, Buki JC, had put out some information about her, and people are knocking on her door. You know, it's one thing to be on the social media; it's another thing that it becomes a matter of uh, a person's personal safety, and. I've started to notice that a lot of bloggers, not particularly this lady, but that, that her name had just been mentioned. But a lot of bloggers, they literally don't care. They just after the money, the clout, they're after getting popular, getting they want to become the next gist lover and very dark man. And they will do anything. And in this case, right now, they're using this case of uh justice for Mubad, the movement. They're using it and um, they're leveraging it with the vulnerability of the father who doesn't know any better and they're using it to drag the whole family and and now people are starting to, she's starting to have anxiety around our safety on our own street she said they released our address and you know and she's crying out to the governor of lagos state nigeria 
uh, for help. So you can see this post here by Iyaba Ojo, uh, and I quote, I received a distress call from Mama Mubad in the early hours of, two of today concerning her safety, and this brought a lot of sadness to my heart, even though I have tried to step aside from justice for Mubad, hashtag justice, justice for Mubad, I can't ignore this cry for help. I feel it is high time the right authorities waged in on this matter before things begin to get messy. If it's not already getting out of hand, I believe we have laws in this country and I believe every Nigerian is allowed to feel safe in the confines of their own homes. To our able governor, Baba Jide Sanwolu, sir, Nigerian Police Force, Ade, at, at Ade Jobimuiwa, and all the concerned citizens, please, this has to stop. This woman has lost her dear son, and I feel it is only fair we allow her mourn her son in peace and not in pieces. Um, Mobad has, sti has still has still not been buried. That that only is traumatizing enough. I can only imagine. Um, and now stalking, harassment, bullying, and dehumanizing dehumanizing Mobad's mother should not be allowed. This has to stop. All right, there you have it. So it's crazy that this will be allowed to go on. A lot of people really, really think that uh, you know they will read the laws on the very surface level, forgetting that the laws has to be interpreted. And the idea of the law in the first place is to protect the citizens. Okay? That's the idea of the law in the first place. You don't just get to jump out on social media, on TikTok, run your mouth anyhow, your dirty mouth anyhow, and think that there's no consequences. You know, at first I'm like, these people are trying to silence the regular citizens. They want to control, regulate social media. But when you also think about how Nigerians move, you know, Nigerians will have small worry. They will take that worry to the next level. If you don't, okay, yeah, I'm saying Nigerians because I'm a Nigerian. I've, I've seen that, I've observed that. I'm sure it's all around the world, but I've observed that personally. And I've seen that some people will do anything just for a little change. And mark my words. You see how TikTok is going and everybody's making money on TikTok and Facebook? Yeah, I've been through those cycles multiple times. I've been a digital marketer since 2009, February. So it's only a matter of time, all right? A lot of, uh, yeah, they, all of that is going to get removed from right under them. They're going to literally pull the rug from under them. Watch my, mark my words. It's not sustainable, okay? and and uh especially when they're using it to hurt themselves or to hurt innocent families and they don't know when to stop okay now this message is for baba mubad ah this is sad ah this is just sad to watch this is a very 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 sad thing to watch you know it's sad that that man will be that old and he really can't uh it's not about education. It's not about formal education. It's about education. It's about home training. It's about also retraining yourself. There's no excuse. I mean, you've been for over 50 years. You've been a part of society. You know that there's rules of engagement. And they are dragging, quote unquote, your ex wife, the mother of your son who passed away. And you just can't, like, the greed is so bad that you can't catch yourself. And to the general public that are supporting him, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yep, it's coming back. Um, you think this is about Mubad? This is about you. This is about you. And I'm not. Um, I'm not emotionally. You know, it's, that's not what I'm doing. I mean, just look at what is happening right now. The family lost their son. They were never able to grieve. The son had to be exhumed. They had the natural trauma that comes with that. It's a young little son. And they keep dragging the paternity of this little boy when the father never really questioned his paternity. And when, in fact, the laws are not really asking for that, at least not yet. Uh, even if there's going to be a need to do something like that because everybody's a suspect, right? 
wouldn't you want some kind of court order and just wait for the process to pan out without traumatizing the family even further in the name of your helping them <sighs> yeah Anyway, everybody, you know, everybody is coming to them, okay? But it's kind of sad that Mubad's mom and Yabojo had to be the one to doing this. But let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know. Maybe I'm off. Maybe there's some things I don't know because I'm not really following the story too closely. It's just too ratchet for my liking. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a little bougie in that, in that respect. But it's a little too, too ratchet. But I wanted to cover this today so you can get up to speed on what's going on. The drama is still ongoing and it's just sad. Do me a favor. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe and turn up your notifications so you're notified whenever we go live. And I'll be back in no time. Touching and kissing me up on the floor, the couch in the kitchen. One love enough, we done enough.